As I'm sure a lot of people here on this channel know, I've had a lot of other YouTube channels in my 10 years of doing this. 10 years? 11, oh. In my 11 years on this platform, I've had a, f a few channels, all of which I think have been abandoned except for this one, and that's pushing it. But some of you may remember that there was once a time I thought that it would be a great idea for me to have a makeup and beauty channel. I, everyone was doing it just because you can doesn't mean you should. And you know, I realized that. Um, I became a bit more self-aware. Uh, thank, thank God. And so I did what I do with most of my channels when I just have a bit of a crisis and I just deleted the whole thing. Do I regret starting it? No. Do I regret deleting it? Yes. Luckily for you, the internet's forever. By which I mean lots of people went against my wishes and re-uploaded those videos for your viewing pleasure. I'm all for archiving the internet, by the way. You know, I think things should be available to us when we decide. Don't do it with my shit, okay? When I delete something, it's for a reason. And we're gonna look back on some of those reasons today. Because as I said, thanks to you guys, I can watch my old makeup tutorials. I've had a sneak peek and oh boy, I hope none of you ever watched them or copied them. We're gonna watch two today because no one needs to suffer more than that. The first one we're gonna watch is called the 20 pound makeup challenge. I guess it does what it says on the tin. Now before we start, I would like to say I'm very aware, ironically, my makeup did not go very well today. However, compared to this, this is fucking great. Without further ado, let's go. Hey guys, so this is my bare face. Hopefully you're gonna see a lot of this on this channel, I apologize. So you fucking should. That's most, that's most upsetting. That's, whew. Holy pluckaroonie, Batman. Just cause I don't like that doesn't mean that you don't look great if you pluck your eyebrows, but I should not have been doing that. I already made the choice to not have a lot of hair on my head. Why did I need to take it out of my eyebrows as well? And I went into Superdrug. Not sponsored. Um, I went into <laughs> drug and it proved quite tough. It really wouldn't have been that tough. Even back then, in the good old year of 2015, there's loads of stuff you can make a full makeup look out of like 20 quid. Not saying it would all be fantastic, but there are a lot of affordable things out there. All right, let's skip forward. Next up is the Makeup Academy Matte Perfect Foundation. Mm, um, this don't was do that £2 and it's supposed to be shine control. Um, I couldn't tell... Um... <laughs> shine control. Remember she said that. It's gonna take the lighting down. Mm, so not, the ma not the finger. Um, yeah, that's finger. gonna spread out pretty fine. It what seems tone is that? Though. What it tone is my face really right now? Oh, actually, yeah, what is, I don't oh, like oh. <laughs> that's quite the face I've forced on. <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna use my own <laughs> for a second. How <laughs> much grease is there? I don't know if that's from the makeup or me. There's no highlighter added here. That's just, that's just all me, baby. So much oil on my face, I think I'm probably gonna get invaded. Fucking Exxon Valdez in here. Someone call BP. I've got you some supplies. Am I ever gonna stop bullying myself? I don't know, I don't think so. As it said, it's like a shine. Look at the one just like racking on my face. Again, I should not have been allowed to have a channel. It was a terrible idea. I meant beauty channel, but I might as well just say channel in general. Because the makeup's not actually that bad, I don't think. I really wanted to make Oh, this mama, you like don't think that's that bad? and how much concealer is that why is the brush so thick some of this stuff is going to be absolutely okay oh good i did that thing that youtubers did where they tried to be relatable and say you can use affordable products and then just trash them do you remember that drama of like alfie days being a fucking tory i feel like that this <laughs> is the torification of emma black oh, oh but overall the concealer hasn't done that bad of a <laughs> Boxes of foxes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just because you can make a channel does not mean you should. Really hard to split. You just can't. There was no need for this video to exist and I apologize profusely. What good did this serve? This only would have served to make people feel like if you had cheap makeup, then you weren't gonna look good. This sends a bad message. Let's take a look at the finished look. I look got, at that Instax. No Peep the Instax in the background. No, oh, what's going on with the yeah. eyelashes? You know, this tip. I'm just putting eyeliner in my eyelashes. It really does look so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's horrendous. Oh no. Look, for, for, for clarity's sake, I'm still not very good with eyeliner, okay? I still, I'm, I'm still doing it the same shape, but it's better than that. And that's some foreshadowing for the second video I'm gonna show you. We're gonna move on to the second and final video for today, which is called the winged eyeliner tutorial. 
Um, can't wait to show you this one because it's upsetting. Hey guys, so I only started up this channel about a week ago, but already I've had loads and loads of people ask me how I do my liquid eyeliner. Uh, for those <laughs> they were being sarcastic. I think it's quite well known that I was not very good at doing my makeup. And I'm very, very sorry to anybody who looked up to me who thought I want to look like her because you should never have thought that. I conned you all. I don't know why. <laughs> so, misguided self-belief. Um, for those of you who don't know, I always do a uh, thick black eyeliner with yeah, a wig on the don't um, know. Side, and loads of people say it's on point. Um, it's not... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, I caught myself off guard for real. Lots of people say it's on point. I should show you guys which eyeliner I use. Um, it's usually one of these two. Oh, um, this is the liquid eyeliner no. by Barry M. For um, clarity's sake, I do still have an emergency Barry M in my makeup bag because those things, they just don't run dry. It's a tiny pot, but there's always more. But it's, it's not a very good formula. I don't think anyone would agree it's the best formula. For reference now, I think I use like KVD Beauty trooper eyeliner or something like that and it stays on very well obviously it's a bit more pricey than the Barry M one but if you are looking for something if you are a millennial and you do still do these I'd recommend it as for Barry M maybe just keep one on standby and that's my opinion I pull on the skin as okay, I do okay well eyeliner. first off this I'm literally teaching you to pull on the skin line like that and you can just draw across that and then the liquid eyeliner will just follow the curve of your eye and that's what no! I've given you all fucking wrinkles, I'm so sorry. Not that there's anything wrong with wrinkles, but the fact that you were all like 12 or 13, I'm so sorry. Don't ever pull on your eyes when you're doing it. First off, the curve that follows your natural shape of your eye will not look natural because you're, you know, you're doing it to something that is not, you know, natural. Second, don't pull on your skin like that. You don't need to pull on your skin like that. You're gonna do it damage, you're gonna make it feel sore, and then you're just gonna be stretching it, you know? Collagen is limited. Don't use it all watching this twat. If you try and do it like this, yes, you'll save yourself some wrinkles maybe, but guess what? I even you're acknowledge it. Wrinkles. And um, it just, it, it's just finicky and it takes a long time. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. That's awful. Okay, so we're gonna start. <laughs> this is sexy, isn't it? We're gonna start from <laughs> <Attractive>. this little. <laughs> nice. This, uh, keep going back and forth. Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Stay Don't! As none close of this! To your none of this! Eyes. Don't go back and forth. Just go from the inside out. These, why would I start on the outside? Impression. That's actually why I like these. Um, <laughs> Let's skip forward a bit. This. Oh! Oh god! I'm, I've gone from the outside in. Now I'm going for the inside out. Keep going back and forth. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is so painful. So, what shape is that? You want to look at where the oh, end no, oh, of your no. eyebrow is. Here and it comes. To where the base of your eye is. So, <laughs> you can see me trying to work it out. There. That's what I try and do. Try and imagine that there's no, a line there no, that's not the angle. You don't look at the tip of your eyebrow. Oh no, actually, I think actually. I didn't say I'd improved, okay? I'm saying I like myself a whole lot less. You have to see the method I in the madness. I go for about halfway. No! About there. No! You make a little point, pull out your eye. <laughs> I was born in 1991, can you tell? We make... No, I'm so... A straight line, which will naturally curve <laughs> when it gets to your eye. Oh. Like that. Oh. Now that doesn't uh. look very good, does it? Thin and thin. I look so, so happy about it though. I'm like, oh, but don't worry. Oh no, how am I gonna fix that? You can't. Mm, what? The tip is so thick. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> now even that flick, I absolutely hate. It's too much. I don't have words. I do. Oh, I have a lot of words. What was that? What was the like buck? You know, sometimes that still happens to me. But I know I've done it wrong. You know, when you accidentally go a little bit too too low. It happens, we all make mistakes, or you know, maybe it suits other people, but it certainly didn't suit me. I'm just gonna clean that up with a bit of I mean, if it's showing you wiping off my mistake. Humble queen. Just... What is this? No, you've just done it again. The concentration on my face is amazing. So I've now padded that out, and 
that is my little flick. Oh, now, you're done? Yeah, you're, you're happy with that? No, I hope this was helpful. It Let wasn't that. It was most upsetting. I'm gonna try and show that I've grown by showing a bit of kindness to myself. We've all had a good laugh. Fun times are over now. I'm sorry that I taught so wrong. I'm sorry I had the misplaced confidence to think I was in a position to teach anyone how to do makeup. But you know what? It wasn't the most offensive thing on the internet at the time. I believed in myself and maybe that's, that's, you know, <laughs> maybe the real makeup tutorials are the friends we make along the way. I think, I think I had a lot to learn. You know, I was only 23. You know what? I had the best of intentions with these tutorials. I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to make anyone purposefully look bad. I just, I wish that, I wish I'd listened to people who were mean on the internet who probably would have said, don't do that. Please, please stop doing that. Please don't do that. But you know what, just because I'm laughing at myself doesn't mean that I think that about anyone else that does makeup in that style or maybe as erroneous, you know. I mean, I'm no pro now, I'm not. I'm only laughing because I thought I was in a position to teach others. Um, and I wasn't. Please don't feel bad if, if, if you're still doing similar styles or, you know, tugging on your face or, you know, doing the shape like up here. Um, you know, in eight years time, I'll probably be making videos laughing about the shit that I say now. And that's on growth, everybody. Fucking hell though, Jesus. Uh, for reference, for anyone who is curious who wasn't here eight years ago, the reason I had such short hair um, is because I just shaved it off for charity a few months before that. Um, I was feeling very self-conscious about my hair, uh, or lack thereof, for quite some time. Um, but I did a good thing, I think. I'm happy I did it. But the makeup, oh boy. Anyway, if you'd like to see me reflect upon and uh, take the piss out of other previous videos that I've made, please let me know in the comments below. Do you remember any videos from back in the day that I made? on any of my various channels that you'd like me to try and dig up and, you know, we can relive the, the... If that's the glory days, we're all fucked. Just before I go, I have a Patreon. You know what Patreon is, I'm not gonna bore you with it. Link is down below. I'm also uh, about to launch a public Discord. Um, when that is up, that will be in the comments below. Uh, should be by the time this video is up. Um, so do click and join, you know, it's already open to my Patreon members. Um, and if you are a Patreon member, then we have our private, uh, you know, server things in there as well, like channels. I still can't work out Discord. Um, but don't be mean or weird on it, okay? Let's have fun. Let's all have a good time. We're responsible adults now. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, I shall catch you later. Gotta stop pointing at the screen. Later. Later. <laughs>